Hey everybody, this is Jordan for PictureMonk.com and welcome to another episode in the Picture Monk Method series. Uh, thank you for joining me in this one. Um, and this one's going to be a tiny bit different from the other ones that I have done uh, so far. And that is because I am going to be um, jumping out of Lightroom and going into Photoshop and then jumping back into Lightroom. Normally with these photo edit editing tutorials or uh, editing walkthroughs, uh, I kind of stick in one program and, and, and do all my, all my edits there as much as possible. But in this particular photo, I'm going to need to do a little bit more advanced editing. So, uh, so let's can get, go ahead and get started and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, so with this photo, this is a photo of the uh, USS North Carolina in uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. It's a really cool ship to, to visit while you're there. And uh, I was just down there uh, with, my, uh, with my dad uh, doing uh, some photo stuff. And uh, we were down there during... Uh, sunset and just sitting on the boardwalk taking photos across the uh, across the inlet here and uh, getting some cool shots with the clouds uh, we, the the light was okay uh, but we're gonna bring this out a little bit more and make it a little a uh, little bit more punchy so uh, for the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and do my basic edits in Lightroom I'm gonna just do uh, some very simple stuff normal stuff that I would do I'm gonna increase the shadows a little bit take down the highlights not too much. Normally I would go down a lot more than that, but increase the shadows a little bit more maybe. Uh, I'm going to take up the warmth a little bit. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit and bring up the magenta to try to give a little bit more uh, a little bit more light in there, a little more evening light. Take the vibrance up a little bit and then we'll go down to lens correction. I'm going to enable my profiles. That'll uh, kind of correct the the perspective here a little bit. Remove chromatic aberration. I'm pretty sure there's a little bit in there, but that'll take care of that. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to the manual tab, and I'm going to line this up. You can kind of kind of tell that it's slanted here, um, so I'm just going to line this up manually instead of uh, instead of letting Lightroom do it for me. So I'm going to say right about there is where I want it to be. Now you can see we have some points here that we need to take care of and uh, we can do that a couple ways. We can uh, crop in or we can uh, fix those in Photoshop. So that's one of the things that we're going to take care of in Photoshop. So as far as everything else goes, maybe bump the clarity up a little bit. Okay, right about there. I'm good with how that looks. So now I'm going to take this photo and open it up in Photoshop. So I'm just going to right click here edit in and Adobe Photoshop alright now we got our photo in Photoshop now we can uh, do a little bit more editing so uh, first thing I need to do is take care of these edges here now because of the nature of uh, where these little empty spots are uh, a lot of people use content aware fill to take care of that um, it's just a lot more clicks than I want to do <laughs> so I'm just gonna create a brand new blank layer here get my clone tool and just sample down here at the bottom and just kinda go across to take care of that same thing here just kinda sample and this is gonna mess up right there and but that's not a that's not a big issue because I'm actually gonna take this whole building out I don't want that building there so uh, same thing here go like that and fix this part here and pretty much done let me take care of this part here I don't like the way that looks alright right about there that looks good to me alright so we got those taken care of that's the before and after you can see that there alright so now I mentioned I want to take this building out and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna select my background layer here and I'm gonna take my lasso tool and I'm going to sample this big area of trees. So I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to get a lot of area here. And then make sure I get a lot of area on the bottom. This is going to be more than I want, but I can always take away. So that's not an issue. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste. So now I have that section here that I can play around with. Lower the opacity of that level so I can see a little bit behind it hit command T or control T to get the transform tool and I'm going to scale it down to try to match this perspective here I'm going to actually do a little bit more so maybe there you got to kind of play around with the placement of it because you want it to cover the building but not so much to where you have to basically take all of it away 
So probably right there, I'm thinking. And it's going to overlap the boat, but that's not a big deal because we're about to edit it out anyway. I'm going to move this to the top so it doesn't affect my clone layer. And now I uh, use my handy dandy um, <laughs> uh, adjustment layer. I, I use these on almost every photo. Um, so I got a blank adjustment layer. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and take that away. I'm going to hold Alt or Option uh, on your uh, Mac or PC while I click the added uh, layer adjustment here. And that'll take everything away. But now, when I get a white brush, that's key here, I'm, I can paint it back. And I'm only painting in the spots that I want to bring back. So I'm going to bring back this area here. bring back that. I'm probably going to need to make it a softer brush. But let's see what I can get away with here. So I'm just I'm keeping clicking here just to bring back some of the clouds or the trees there and the clouds. Cuz this part I could probably keep from the original. And the building that I'm erasing is the uh the museum that is attached to the battleship and so I don't want uh, even though that's been there for for years and years I don't want that to uh, to be there I want to make it look like this boat was uh, is kind of anchored in the inlet and uh, that's the only thing that's there so I'm just keep painting away bringing what I want back and I'm gonna go into the ship a little bit but then take it away kind of gives me a clean edge All right, so now you see I'm bringing back the pi uh, the pillars that are in the water. Let me get my soft brush again, kind of paint that in. All right, so now there's a color difference there, and the way I'm going to correct that is I'm just going to enlarge my brush a little bit more and just kind of tap away here to try to reveal as much as I can underneath. So this part, this is going to be the tricky part right here. I might have to do some uh, some cloning, but yeah, I'm going to have to do some cloning here. So now I'm going to get another blank layer. Not too worried about creating all these blank layers. Get my clone stamp. And just try to match this ripple maybe that's what I need to do that's my uh, that's my goal here so I'm gonna sample that ripple there just kinda paint it across alright there we go let's see might you might we might as well take the whole ripple out maybe we should do that let's go ahead and uh, do that just kind of follow the underneath there. Alright, let me see we got a little issue here. We can take care of that. Okay. The only thing we need to do is make sure that we got some good clean edges butting up right next to the ship. Soften my brush one more time. I keep hitting the keys too much. It might look annoying with all the edits that I'm doing, but I actually uh, I, I really like doing this kind of stuff. I really like playing in, uh, getting in here and making sure everything is is tight at 100%. Uh, it's a little fuzzy up here. Probably go ahead and take that away. That right there I like doing this just because it's uh it's kind of like a fun exercise making it look as real as possible anybody who's visited the ship or who will visit the ship will will notice that there's no museum there but that's the it's the kind of point I'm trying to get across here I want it to to make it look like that was not there. All 
All right. I think I'm good with how that looks. Um, you know what? I think I still want to take some of this darker area out, even though it goes along with... See, let's just see how that looks if I take this whole clone out here. I don't think it's going to look good. It doesn't look terrible. But you kind of need that dark spot there to... Uh, how this one has like a dark shadow coming from the, the sun there. You kind of need that a little bit. So I think I'm going to leave it in there. Alright, so I like the way that looks. Uh, now I'm going to give it a little more sun... Uh, sun burst going on give it a little more color I'm gonna create a blank layer here on top of all that I'm gonna set my layer to overlay I'm gonna get a very large brush just scale the brush up a pretty good amount take my opacity down to maybe around eight or nine somewhere around there and now the key here is to sample a color that is already in your image so um, a, a nice orange color here maybe right there and what I'm doing is looking at this area over here to see what kind of color I want to grab. So I'm just holding Option to get the uh, eyedropper tool. I'm just kind of grabbing a color. I think I'm going to choose that one. Alright, now I'm going to take my brush and just kind of paint over. It's going to be super, super subtle. But that's what you want. You don't want it to be really, uh, really powerful because then it just kind of takes away the realism. So I'm making sure I'm hitting the side of the ship there, hitting some of the trees, and because I have a softer brush, it's hitting some of the water. Maybe concentrate on this water part too here to brighten that up a little bit. And I'm not making strokes like this as much. I'm, I'm clicking on one spot. Choose right there, brighten that up a little bit. Okay, so this was our before when we first got in here, and that's our after. So I think it's looking pretty good. Now I want to do my final edits in uh, in in Lightroom. I'm just going to go up here and click File, Save, and that'll save it out. And now I'm just going to close Photoshop. And now I have my edited one already in here. So that's the this is what we went into Photoshop with. This is our edit, edit, editable one here <laughs> that we can edit everything with. So again, I'm going to increase my vibrance a little bit now that I got those new colors in there. Uh, warmth up just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to mess with the color here. Oops. Mess with the uh, HSL hue and see what kind of colors we can bring out in the sky. That one's changing more of the leaves on the trees, don't want to make a red sky, that's kind of weird. Um, keep that the way it is. I think I'm going to end up keeping most of the colors the way they are. I think I'm, they're not really adding too much to the photo. Okay, so increase the contrast a little bit. Uh, detail, make sure you got a good sharpness in there. I'm going to go ahead and mask out that. And masking, what that'll do is if you increase your sharpness, masking will, uh, I believe I explained this in another, another video, but when you mask out, you, instead of sharpening the whole image like this, everything that is white in the image will be sharpened. So it won't sharpen everything in the image, just some of the detail, some of the uh, uh, outline detail. So uh, let's see, what do we want to do? We want to brighten up the ship just a little bit. I know I want to bring out the ship here. So I'm going to increase the, uh, the exposure of my brush and just kind of paint over the ship like that. Increase the contrast, increase the clarity. Ooh, I don't know if I want to increase the, increase the clarity. I thought that would do a little bit different effect. So maybe right there. Alright. Now the only thing I can think else that I want to do is um, is possibly yeah, I don't want to increase the clarity. Uh, is possibly cropping the image. Now, I don't really crop a lot of my images. Uh, I kind of like, like to leave them the way they are. But I'm just going to go ahead and play with the crop and see how it works. I know I want, if I'm going going to crop this, it, it re, it's going to need a panoramic crop. 
so the way I kind of do my panoramic crops is I always have a set um, dimension that I use and I have it saved in here and it's a 36 by 12 and the reason I do that is because I know I can find a good frame uh, that's not a custom made frame um, with my 36 by 12 so I'm going to try that and see how that looks uh, it cuts out too much of the sky I think so I don't know if I want to go with that so let's just go ahead and hit enter and see yeah, it cuts out too much of the sky. I, I just don't know if I like that, so I'm just going to undo that. So let's keep that the way it is. Yeah, the only thing I can think about doing is um, is doing another gradient here at the top, maybe. To try to bring out a little more a little more color in the sky. Play around with uh, increasing the warmth. That's kind of giving a cool effect there. I don't want to increase that much. See that's that's looking okay. Um, I'm, I think I'm liking that. Saturation. Don't want to really mess too much with saturation. There's already it's, it's already a fairly warm image. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, maybe back the magenta down a little bit. Maybe it's too too magenta. And uh, yeah, before we before we call it quits on this one, let's just play with the colors again just to see. Because you can come back to a photo, you know, an hour later after not looking at it, and you can uh, have a totally different idea of what you want it to look like. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna say that one right about there. So, uh, ideally, if I were to go back and take a photo of this, um, I would have made the ship. Um, instead of pointing off frame, which is uh, something that I don't prefer in my photos, I, if I'm going to have something on the lower uh, lower third, um, and it's something that is, you know, that, that has a directional element to it, like a ship is pointing somewhere, uh, I would have had it over in this area instead of over here. Um, but I really wasn't planning on taking out the museum that was there with it, so or the visitor center. wasn't planning on doing that. So um, if I were to go back, I would. That's that's how I would shoot it. I would have this ship over here. Um, but uh, but this image turned out pretty well, so uh, it's it's a keeper. So let's go and look at the before and after. This is what we got as far as uh, bringing it into uh, into Lightroom uh, from Photoshop. But this was the. This was the before, uh, the very beginning. So let's go. Let's go, let's go back here. Yeah, that was the before, and then that was after. So it's a it's a pretty cool image. It turned out pretty well. So hope you guys enjoyed that very long <laughs> picture monk method edit. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be that long, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Head on over to picturemonk.com, and that uh, has a whole bunch of other stuff on there. Uh, we got photography shirts, got Lightroom presets, um, all kinds of crazy stuff out there. So go ahead and check that out, picturemonk.com. This is Jordan, and I will see you guys next time.